Hello, I'm Dr. Jean Casagrande, the Director of International and Professional Relations for Milestone Scientific. And I'm here today at the Greater New York meeting to show you a new technology in the field of local anesthesia delivery. What we have here is the next generation of what used to be the wand. It's called the STA, and it's for single tooth anesthesia. As you can see, it's a basic unit, very simple. It has a cartridge holder that holds whatever kind of anesthetic you would like to use. Uh, it is, uh, has a, a tubing that is attached to a wand handpiece. What this does is produces a flow of anesthetic, which is the drop of anesthetic every other second, which is below the patient's pain threshold. So this needle could be anywhere in the body and you would f not feel the delivery of the anesthetic, even in the palate. As you can see, we have one handpiece that's very easy to control uh, the needle. We have excellent tactile sense, it's ergonomically designed, and because of the ability to uh, control the needle and this flow rate, we can do some injections that are almost impossible to do with a dental syringe. We can give it injections that uh, are in the palate that'll anesthetize multiple teeth without anesthetizing the patient's lip and face. One of the injections is called the AMSA and is now being taught in dental schools around the world and be in most of the textbooks. Uh, this is an injection that will anesthetize five teeth all the way from the second premolar through the central incisor without anesthetizing the patient's lip and face. There's also a new injection, also discovered by Dr. Mark Hockman and Dr. Mark Friedman, called the PASA injection. And that injection is when we uh, deliver the anesthetic into the nasal palatine canal. In that injection, we can actually anesthetize six anterior teeth without anesthetizing the patient's lip and face, all the tissue surrounding those teeth. So it's a big benefit to our patients to be able to anesthetize just the teeth and the tissue without anesthetizing their lips and face, especially in the area of cosmetic dentistry, aesthetic dentistry, where we really need to assess the smile line. So these two injections are very, very beneficial. The patients love them. They can be done very comfortably without any discomfort to our patients. The other injection is very, very valuable. It's called the intraligamentary injection. It's much different than the PDL injection that we're used to giving with a syringe in that we're injecting a small volume under a lot of pressure when we use the syringe, when we use the ligament jet. With this injection, we're gonna inject much more of a volume, but under minimal pressure. So it's very comfortable for the patient. Because we're injecting much more of a volume, we're able to have a duration of anesthesia up to 45 minutes or even sometimes longer, a profound anesthesia without numbing the patient's lip and face. So in many cases, this takes the place of the mandibular block. It will delete the need to really have the mandibular block in many cases. This injection uses something that is innovative and new called dynamic pressure sensing. What it does is it records the exit pressure of the anesthetic as it's going through various tissues. So we can actually determine when we've arrived at the actual periodontal ligament space to give a successful intraligamentary injection. This machine, by lights and sounds that I'm gonna demonstrate, will tell you when you've arrived at the proper injection site, if you've left that site, or in fact, if you put too much pressure or the needle is blocked, and it'll actually quit and say overpressure, and it will not allow you to overpressurize your patients as you can do with a syringe or uh, with a uh, ligament jet or peripress. When we're arriving at the periodontal ligament space, you'll start to hear the lights and sound indicators which are telling us that we're now in the intraligamentary space. The lights will go from orange to yellow to eventually green, which is an accurate indication that we are in fact in the intraligamentary space. In fact, the voice now tells us we are in the intraligamentary space and all we need to do is maintain that particular spot. And if we move out of that spot, we don't hear the lights and sounds indicators, so then we go back into that spot. The real benefit of this technology is to our patients and to our practice and to us as dentists. It's less stressful to give these injections that I've de demonstrated, it's more comfortable for your patient, and it's a productivity and efficiency uh, practice builder for your practice, so it's a win-win-win for everybody. And in fact, the real bottom line of this whole technology is the fact that your patients will appreciate 
the fact that you've gone out of your way to make the most important part of the procedure for them as comfortable as possible.